Chapter 1 Hello, world you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Hello, World Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, uh, the teenager woke up in the dark. He felt a slight headache. Before his eyes Was a completely unfamiliar sight. Where was he? Oh. Some memories appeared. Lu Ming, 16 years old, a vocational technical college student. This was his current identity. I have actually transmigrated. Lu Ming rubbed his head while a long time to accept this fact. It seemed like I was dead. Lu Ming was in a trance. In his previous life, he was a programmer who worked like a dog. He had worked 16 hours a day and had had to deal with all kinds of brainless requests. He did not expect that he would drop dead in front of the computer. He remembered that the night he died he felt exhausted to the bones. That was because the product manager was such a blockhead. The product manager changed the requirements in the last minute as he wanted the background of their smart app to change with the user's mood. It was red when the user was happy. It was a melancholy blue when they were sad. It would turn purple when they were agitated. He felt confused. If there were a knife on the table, uh. That was all he remembered. In the end, he was busy late into the night and he had had a splitting headache. His most memorable dream was a good fight with the product manager early in the morning. There seems to be no hope. Lu Ming felt very regretful. A morbid thought came to his mind. The product manager might be scared stiff when he found him dead early in the morning. He might wet his pants when he patted him and realized that he was freezing cold. Hee <laughs> hee. Lu Ming smiled. This could be considered as the end to his life as a programmer who worked like a dog. Whatever happened in his previous life should come to a close. His family. They no longer existed. His parents were in poor health and passed away when he was a child. Girlfriend. Hee <laughs> hee. How could a programmer who worked like a dog have a girlfriend? The product manager was a hypocrite that bragged about new products or about his girlfriend every day. Ah, the damn product manager. He felt like getting in a good fight with him. If he could change bodies again, he would give him a good beating. Wait a minute. Lu Ming felt that his mindset was wrong. Since he had transmigrated and was given a new life, wouldn't it be pointless if his ultimate goal was to return to the past and assault the product manager? Phew, Lu Ming let out a long breath, finally calming himself down. He should forget whatever had happened in his past life. He should be concerned with the present. At the thought of this, Lu Ming began to scan the room. Five square meters. With only a small single bed. Lu Ming frowned. The narrow space brought back bad memories. The rented place where he used to live near Renmin University of China was as small and broken down as this place. It can't be. Lu Ming had a bad feeling all of a sudden. Wow, memories started flooding in. He realized that the original owner's memory had not been erased. He seemed to be watching a film about the owner's life. He could look through their memories at any time. Lu Ming. Only 16 years old. Vocational technical college student. He came from a good family. His parents were in good health. He had an older sister. He had received a good education. He seemed to be doing fairly well. But why would he end up going to a technical college? Oh. His older sister was too successful. Since she started school, she had stellar performances and was always ranked first. After she started cultivation, she was unmatched, and no one could reach her level. She was well dot known in that place. Little Lu Ming grew up in that environment. He was always compared to his sister for everything. Of course. This was not the point. The point was, when Lu Ming thought of this sister, he could vaguely feel some strange emotions from little Lu Ming. There was envy, inferiority, affection, ambiguity, 
admiration, and desire for violence. Wait a minute. Something did not seem quite right. Whoosh. Lu Ming automatically lifted the mattress. Under the mattress, there was a pile of strange books. Superior sister falls in love with me, my sister could not be so h, overbearing sister forces a kiss on me, the guide to winning your sister's affection. Lu Ming was confused but when he thought about it, it seemed to be normal. The child was. Lu Ming comforted himself. He saw a bunch of toilet paper in the paper basket. The young boy was. That was what Lu Ming had in mind. With such a beautiful and talented sister, it was normal for the boy to have all sorts of strange ideas and desires, especially during his adolescence. Of course. Little Lu Ming also knew that this was not right, therefore he was intent on leaving the place. He fled all the way to a relatively distant city. He knew that in his life he might not be able to overtake his sister as a fighter. Therefore, he simply chose to become a card creator, hoping that he could make a name for himself. If he succeeded in the future, he might be able to help his older sister. In the end, it went without saying. Card creator. Lu Ming had some doubts. He began to read his memory. There was a lot of rich energy between heaven and earth in this world. Therefore, there were thousands of different kinds of cultivation vocations. Everyone could cultivate themselves and choose their favorite cultivation vocation. But there was no doubt that although there were many cultivation vocations, there was still a huge difference between them. Some people preferred the hot dot blooded type and for every punch to bite. This was a man's way of being romantic. On the contrary, some people preferred being elegant and chic and to manipulate. This was the pursuit of profound meaning. As for card creator, it was a fairly good auxiliary vocation. In simple terms, being a card creator meant collecting a variety of abilities, like illusions, images, and more and sealing them in a blank card, turning it into a card for easy usage. Theoretically, if one was powerful enough, one could seal everything. Seal everything. Lu Ming felt infinite power. He recalled similar memories, erm. Every card creator had an original card. If they released an ability into the original card, the original card would seal the ability. Thereafter, through the card creator's workmanship, he would draw the ability into the card for easy usage. This thing. Lu Ming pondered for a moment. Disc burner. They were of the same profession. After all, they were from the IT industry. Of course. Although card creators did not have any fighting prowess, it was still considered a fairly good auxiliary vocation. It was just that. How should he say it? After little Lu Ming completed his vocational college and went through the professional training organized by his college, he was qualified to become a part of the menial gang. The only card creating skills that he mastered was the one dot star energy card. Since the energy contained in the energy stone was unstable and its energy value would fluctuate, it was inconvenient to carry it around. The card creator could seal the energy from the energy stone into a blank card and turn it into an energy card. One card in an hour. One could complete 20 cards in a day. The net profit of one card was 5 yuan, therefore one could earn 100 yuan a day. It was enough to cover his expenses. He did not have to worry about the sales. Calm down. Be sure to calm down. Lu Ming's hands trembled slightly. He vaguely remembered that he attended a training class to become a Java programmer in his previous life. He did not expect that little Lu Ming would be doing the exact same thing. You must be freaking kidding me. He continued to look at the memories. Although it was hard, little Lu Ming led a stable life. However, one day he was in a bad shock when he knew that his genius sister was coming to visit him. He must not embarrass himself. He had to preserve his miserable dignity in front of his sister. In order to prove that he had been leading a good life, little Lu Ming did something that normal people would not have done. Loan. 
He took out a loan to open a card creating shop and became a boss. He took out a loan from the school. He used nude photos as collateral to obtain loans. Little Lu Ming had delicate features like his sister. He bought a wig and put on female clothes. He then took his half-naked photos and used them to take out a loan from his school. Lu Ming was even more confused. Damn. Could it be that children from the alternate world like to put up a show? In the end. Everyone knew the outcome. After visiting little Lu Ming and knowing that he had been leading a good life, his sister went back home. Nothing happened. She didn't even praise him for doing well. After all, given her capabilities, in her eyes little Lu Ming's business was considered a very small investment. However, little Lu Ming ended up leading a bitter life where he had to repay his loan and interest every day. It was just that. Little Lu Ming was not highly dot skilled. He could only sell energy cards. His shop did not have much business and he could not even afford to pay the interest. Sure enough, something went wrong. Lu Ming sighed. There was only one outcome for school loans. He did not need to think about it because he knew the outcome. It was the reason why he was able to transmigrate. It was very simple. Apparently little Lu Ming was dead. Lu Ming continued to read the boy's memory. Sure enough. The school loan company looked for little Lu Ming and demanded payment. They forced him to engage in sexual deals. As expected, they discovered that he was a boy. They gave him a round of beatings and threw him out, giving him a month to repay his debts. If he couldn't, they would get him to serve customers who had special sexual preferences. Little Lu Ming was frightened. After coming back, he began to work like a dog to pay off his debts. He would create 22 cards a day and he would only sleep two hours a day. This only lasted for half a month. He shortly came to a sudden death. Lu Ming. Dot. Damn. Shouldn't he have been beaten to death by the loan company? What was the point of a sudden death? Lu Ming felt that this world was being very cruel to him. Seriously. In his previous life, he had come to a sudden death when he was a programmer. But this boy had also died suddenly due to being overworked. Lu Ming felt cheated. Was it the boy who had this feeling? Or was it his own? Humph. He had good playing cards but he did not play them well. He had such a good sister. If he developed the habit from a young age. No, if he had cozied up to her from a young age he might have been doing very well now. However. It was due to the boy's self-esteem. Lu Ming was filled with emotions. Apparently. Little Lu Ming died because of his self-esteem. In fact, if he told his sister or his parents about his problems, things would not have turned out that way. But, all the boys in their adolescence behave like he did. Back then, he was. Humph. It was just as well. Lu Ming thought about it. The young boy seemed to have been suffering for a long time. He would never be able to hold his head high with such a sister, particularly since he felt affection for his sister. It was all the more terrible. He could not hold his head high even in his next life. It was just as well to die. However. He had left happily, while he left behind a mess for Lu Ming. Lu Ming stood up. He pushed open the small bedroom's door. The room outside was clean and tidy. There were clear and transparent display windows on the right and left hand sides of the room. There were some foreign instruments on top of them. In the neat boxes were many rows of textured cards. Clean. Neat. It was a stark contrast to the messy bedroom at the back. Apparently. This was the shop that the young boy gave up his life for. Lu Ming went to the entrance and opened the door to the shop. Bright sunlight came in, the whole world seemed to become alive at this moment. Towering towers. A bustling crowd. A lot of cars on the roads. The fresh air of the early morning. 
Lu Ming took a deep breath, it seemed that all his troubles were gone. This. This was the world that he had transmigrated to. This. This was the start to his new life. I am here, new world. Lu Ming decided on a sentence to say goodbye to everything in his previous life, and to welcome the new world, hello world. Chapter 2 The Magical Card Creating Process You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 2 The Magical Card Creating Process Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Qing Ming City A Shop in the Bustling City Lu Ming held the card creating pen in his hands. He was drawing conscientiously. There was a design plan in front of him, 1. Star Energy Card Lines Creation Template. This was the standard design plan for creating cards. This was a base card. 30.6 strokes. Every stroke was a basic line. As long as he drew the lines according to the design plan, he would be able to create an energy card. This was the first card that all card creators had to learn, but it was also the only card that Lu Ming knew how to create. Whoosh! He put the card creating pen aside. Lu Ming could clearly feel that the energy in his body slowly flowed into the card along with the tip of the pen, eventually turning into dark lines. It turned out that. That this was the process of creating a card. Such a familiar feeling. Lu Ming was deep in his thoughts. He had a strange feeling. The patterns on the back of the card seemed similar to the programming language. He could not understand the principle behind them. However, if he compared the cards to programs, everything seemed to be very clear. In his previous life, he wrote complex programs using simple programming language and right now he used lines to draw cards. An energy card is equivalent to a simple small program. It is like the small addition, subtraction, multiplication and division programs that programming beginners learn. It is very simple. Therefore, the lines are simple and very easy to draw. Lines. They are the core of creating a card. If I learn to draw the lines, I will have mastered the basics of creating a card. At least for me. Creating cards is equivalent to programming in the alternate world. Lu Ming was excited. The feeling was really great. After integrating little Lu Ming's memory, he started out fairly steady. The energy card that he had drawn countless times gradually took shape in Lu Ming's hands. Very soon. Lu Ming drew the last stroke on the back of the blank card. Buzz, a touch of brilliance flashed. All the lines surfaced at that moment. They became partly visible. The front of the card that used to be blank had a diamond spar pattern. That was the energy stone. The blank card had become a brand new energy card. One dot star energy card. Lu Ming was thrilled. Although little Lu Ming had many memories of successfully creating cards, this was the first time that he had succeeded by himself. This feeling, after all, was still very magical. Of course. He succeeded with the help of a design plan. What if he had not had a design plan? He would then need the original card. The original card could seal all sorts of abilities and turn them into a card. One could then draw according to the lines on the back of the original card, creating a new card. This was the power of the card creator. Original card. Lu Ming raised his hand. Whoosh! Lights flashed. A card appeared on his hand, it was a card that was full of energy. Buzz, lights shimmered. A crystal clear card rotated in front of him. There was a faint light on the card. It was sparkling. This was his original card, and this was the basis of the card creator. Theoretically, one could make use of the original card to seal abilities. Then, the back of the card would show lines. As long as one drew according to the lines, one could create new cards and one would become very powerful. Unfortunately, Little Lu Ming had zero use of the original card. The reason was simple, his energy level was too low. 
The minimum requirements of the original card ceiling ability were that the energy contained in the original card must be higher than the energy that one wanted to seal. This was the only way to succeed. If one tried to use an original card that contained an energy level of 100 to seal an energy level of 200.1 would definitely die. The energy level of Lu Ming's original card was only at 40.8 points. An energy card contained 100 points. That was to say if Lu Ming did not have the design plan, he would not be able to create the energy card. He only had a miserable 40.8 points of energy. For every energy card that he created, he needed an energy stone to help him to create the card. To put it bluntly, his work now was simple conversion. He was responsible for converting the energy stone into an energy card. That was all. His task was the most menial work. He was the top among the menial gang. That was what he remembered. At least from Lu Ming's limited memory. One time he asked a low dot ranking classmate like him to cast a fireball on him, while he tried to seal it. In the end, he had to lay in the sickbay for a month before he could get up. He failed to seal the energy and the fireball exploded on him. The fireball was one of the lowest skills, but it required 50 points of energy. He was unable to seal it. In simple terms, his capacity was not enough. It was impossible to record a 8G romance action movie onto a 4G disc. He could purchase the design plan for the fireball and make use of the energy stone to make up for the low energy level to draw. But he could not afford it. Of course, the most important thing was that the fireball was one of the most basic skills. There was an abundance of sealed cards. Any shop would have lots of fireball cards. It was useless to buy them. There were at least 10 shops that sold them on his street. Earning money. There was simply no way of doing that. So. The pitiful little Lu Ming decided to earn money through energy cards. He could mass create energy cards. On the one hand, he could earn some meager money and on the other hand, he could increase his level. As his energy increased, he would be able to seal more abilities and create the cards to make money. In fact, his decision made sense. It was a pity. He was unable to pay the interests of his debts. Loan. Lu Ming stared at the countdown at the top right corner. Fifteen days. If he did not repay the debts within fifteen days, he might really be forced to sing Chrysanthemum Terrace, 1. Chrysanthemum Terrace is a famous mandapop song sung by J. Cho, that depicts melancholic and sorrowful feelings. As for contacting his parents and older sister. Well. Forget it. It would be worse if they found out the truth. Lu Ming would never do it unless he was left with no choice. 100,000 yuan. Lu Ming looked at the small account book on the table. The shop was meant to dupe his elder sister. He only rented it for two months. In addition to the cards that he bought to keep up appearances, he spent a total of 20,000 yuan. If he worked hard, he should be able to pay his debts. However, the problem lay with the interest, particularly the loan's interest. He <laughs> he. When the debtors had come the previous time, the 20,000 yuan that he owed them had snowballed into 50,000 yuan. Oh. When they came the next time, it might become 100,000 yuan. This is troublesome. Lu Ming sighed. The local tyrants were indeed vicious, particularly to Lu Ming who had no fighting prowess. It was not his first option to retaliate by force. At least not for now. So. His biggest problem was finding out how he'd come up with 100,000 yuan within 15 days. Earn money. Cards. Lu Ming was deep in thoughts. The only skill that he had was creating cards. Furthermore, he only had the basic energy card. He was not qualified to deal with other cards. Even if he could use them, they were not worth much. Or perhaps. Lu Ming scanned the shop. Back then he bought a lot of cards to keep up appearances and they had yet to be sold. Many of them were low-dot-level attack cards. 
but he was not qualified to duplicate them. He did not have enough energy. In the end, Lu Ming's gaze rested on one of the cards. Illusion card. There was a sparkle in Lu Ming's eyes. There were all sorts of cards. Since the cards could seal all sorts of characteristics, therefore, theoretically, as long as the card could seal the energy, it could become another card. Therefore, one card could cover almost all vocations and all abilities. The illusion card was the card that was created after sealing an illusion. The illusion card contained a fully built illusion. For example, the card in front of him. It was a one dot star illusion card. It could be used to create an illusion cage to trap the enemy. The authenticity was low and the stability was bad. This was one of the most basic illusion cards. The energy level was 60 points. One needed to have at least 60 points of energy level to duplicate this card. He did not intend to duplicate this card. He did not have enough energy, and even if he duplicated the card, it was worthless. There was an abundance of such lowest dot level cards. He just thought of something. According to Little Lu Ming's memory, the stability of the illusion was related to the energy. The more powerful the illusions were, the higher the energy they had and the higher the stability, and therefore the more powerful they would be. However, what if he did not have any energy? What if he could create a simple and basic illusion? If he only created some facilities that did not have any energy, the energy that would be needed would be so much lower. This was basic knowledge and theory. In that case, what illusion could he create that did not require energy? It's worth a try. Lu Ming was deep in his thoughts. He was not worried about finding an illusionist. There were many illusion students from the technical college. Lu Ming felt that he could get one easily. At the thought of this, Lu Ming took out his cell phone. This world did not put much focus on the development of technology. But even so, due to the existence of energy, developments were still very advanced. In general, the technology was much more advanced than in his previous life. Zhang Xiaopeng, I have a job for you. Do you want to take it or not? Lu Ming asked. Zhang Xiaopeng was one of his classmates. Lu Ming chose him for a simple reason. Out of all the illusionists that he knew, this guy was the worst and the cheapest. What job is it? Zhang Xiaopeng raised his voice by three octaves. A simple illusion. You create it while I seal it. 800 yuan. Lu Ming continued. Too low. Zhang Xiaopeng disagreed with the price. The price is not enough to cover the energy consumed. All right, forget it. Lu Ming hung up the cell phone. The cell phone rang one second later. Zhang Xiaopeng's voice could be heard over the phone. Bro, where are you? I will come right over. You should reimburse me for the two yuan of transport fees. Scram. Lu Ming did not treat him nicely. If he gave in at this time, he would ask for a higher price. I am at the shop. Lu Ming replied brusquely. To him, 800 yuan was extra income. After all, even if he was not paid for it, he should take it as a chance to cultivate. In that case, he should check whether his plans could work. Lu Ming thought about it, taking out a pen and paper and began to draft out his thoughts. Very soon, Zhang Xiaopeng arrived panting heavily. What illusions do you want? Super Sister or Lolita? Queen Ceres or Air Stewardess? Zhang Xiaopeng seemed to know a lot about illusions. Lu Ming. What have you people from the illusions faculty been doing as part-time jobs? Chapter 3 New Card You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 3 New Card Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, let me tell you ahead of time, Zhang Xiaopeng said warningly, the illusion that I create has a low authenticity. 
It is difficult to restore and can only last for 10 minutes. If you cannot finish in time, I won't refund you the money. Lu Ming. Finish. What crap was he talking about? Wait a minute. Why was it 10 minutes again, he thought. Are you sure 10 minutes is enough, he continued. Lu Ming sneered. Of course, he answered. Zhang Xiaopang looked smug. When I use it for myself, I can use it 200 times in 10 minutes. 200 times. Lu Ming counted the time silently. He was amazed. Come on. Zhang Xiaopang was getting ready to start. Stop, 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 he cried. Lu Ming was speechless. I'm not asking you to do this. I only wanted an illusion about fruits. It won't consume too much energy. Fruits. Zhang Xiaopang was bewildered. Obviously he did not know why one would use fruits. He had never heard of such positions. Follow this. Lu Ming explained his idea to him while making gestures. It turned out that little Lu Ming had a strong foundation. Every card creator had good drawing skills and this meant that they were good at sketching. So. Lu Ming drew out whatever he had in mind. Yes, all these must have a standard size. This will be at the bottom. They must not appear together. They must appear gradually. Do you understand? This has to be as fast as possible. Lu Ming drew out what he had in mind as he explained it to him. Zhang Xiaopeng began to build the illusion according to Lu Ming's description. As Lu Ming had expected, it took very little energy to build the illusion. Although Lu Ming wanted to put many things in the illusion, it would not consume a lot of energy. Very soon. The illusion was completed. Done. Zhang Xiaopang was thrilled. Although Lu Ming had complicated requirements and it took up a lot of time, the illusion did not take up a lot of energy. Instead it was cost efficient and he did not use much energy. He had earned the 800 yuan easily. What is the full energy level right now? Lu Ming asked. 30.2 points. Zhang Xiaopang gave a glance at the illusion. Although he usually created low dot level illusions, the illusion that he had created just now was very basic. It was the most basic and simple illusion in his entire career. It was already lower than the alert level of 50 points. How good could it be? 30.2 points. Lu Ming pondered. His original card had 40.8 energy points. He could add something to the illusion. Well. Let me think about it. Lu Ming felt that it seemed to be lacking something. A thought came to his mind. Xiao Peng, can you make the sky in the illusion change with the user's mood? It can be a happy red when they are delighted, a melancholy blue when they are sad, and turn purple when they are agitated. Zhang Xiao Peng turned green. I quit. He was furious. What a bully. It is only 800 yuan. What more do you want? Do you also want the weather in the illusion to change according to their mood? Can it be done? Lu Ming's eyes lit up. Whoosh! Zhang Xiaopang cast a death stare at him. Lu Ming coughed. Joking, I am just joking, he said, before rushing to comfort him. He simply wanted to know more about the illusionist vocation. Even if Zhang Xiaopang wanted to do it, he would not agree to it. He knew that everything that had to do with the energy might cause the energy level of the illusion to be higher than 50 points. He did not dare to add anything to the illusion. Buzz, the original card appeared again. Come on. Lu Ming got into position. It was not easy to perform sealing. One had to determine the exact point and angle of the release of the skill, so that the original card would be a perfect fit. Both parties had cooperate fully. Uh, are you sure you're okay? Zhang Xiaopeng swept his gaze over Lu Ming. He had some slight hesitation. He heard that Lu Ming had failed to seal the card the previous time and spent a long time in the sick bay. Come on. 
Lu Ming put the original card in front of Zhang Xiaopang. Yours is not a fireball, it is just an illusion. What are you afraid of? You're right. Zhang Xiaopang let out a sigh of relief. He directed his hands at the original card and released the illusion. Whoosh! A glow flashed. Seal. Lu Ming felt a rush of energy, he displayed the skills of the original card without hesitation. Buzz, there was a flash of light. The ceiling was complete. The original card that was crystal clear shone brilliantly and images started to appear on the blank card. On the back of the dark card, there were dozens of gleaming lines. Done. Lu Ming was thrilled. He had sealed the illusion successfully. This meant that in the future he could create this illusion card by himself. To him, this was a milestone. Success. Zhang Xiaopang edged over out of curiosity. Yes. Lu Ming felt very satisfied. This kind of illusion is useless. Zhang Xiaopang was very sure that this illusion had almost no effect at all. After all, he personally made the card and it was not as useful as his small yellow card. You know nothing. Lu Ming pursed his lips. He paid him and got him to leave. Buzz, the original card was being summoned once again. Lu Ming began to study it seriously. The front side. He could see some simple patterns. This was the scenes in the illusion. They were simplified versions but seemed to contain a certain mysterious air. The back side. Contained familiar lines. He could see the looming lines on the dark card. This illusion card was very unstable. It only had 30.2 points of energy, which was one third of the energy card. However, the lines on the back of the card was slightly more complicated than the energy card. Is it because of the calculation? Lu Ming made a guess. After thinking about it, he decided to draw the card first. Little Lu Ming had never tried to draw a card based on the original card. However, Little Lu Ming had been prepared to take this step. He was familiar with all the steps. The first step was to sense the lines. With his eyes slightly closed, Lu Ming concentrated on the back of the card. Right then those looming lines seemed to become clearer. There are 40.6 lines, Lu Ming said to himself. Although it had more lines than the energy card, the lines were simple. He had learned them in the past. He did not notice any unfamiliar lines. He remembered all the lines by heart. The second step was to draw. Lu Ming took out an empty card and started to draw. This feeling. It felt like downloading a program source code on the internet and creating a copy. The programmer could fail due to the programming environment and various variable settings, however, over here. This would never happen. As long as one could read the lines, one could draw them. After all, this was just the basics. Whoosh! The energy flowed through his body into the lines made by the pen. When the energy was not enough, Lu Ming would take out the energy stone automatically as a supplement. An illusion card began to take shape in his hands. Buzz, lights flashed. An one dot star illusion card was completed. It worked. Lu Ming was slightly excited. He wanted to see if with this card, he could bring some changes to his bad situation now. He thought about it. He ripped a white label and pasted on the upper right corner of the card. He concentrated on writing the name of the card, Fruit Ninja. Yes. Fruit Ninja. This was the illusion card that Lu Ming wanted to create. Due to skills and financial constraints, he could only choose among those in the bottom. In this world, cultivation always came first, while entertainment had a slower development. Therefore, he chose Fruit Ninja. I should test it out first. Energy surged in Lu Ming's hands. He activated the card in his hand. Whoosh! Lights flashed. The illusion card dissipated and the world in front of him changed instantly. Well. How should he say it? 
the illusion only consumed a total of 30.2 points of energy. It was terribly shabby. There was only a two-dot level restaurant that looked like it was about to collapse and a rusty knife. There was no name on the restaurant plaque. Instead there was a time on it, midnight. That was all there was to it. Lu Ming looked around. Its realism was similar to the VR that was not yet popular in his previous life. It was illusory but it also looked slightly real. There was a wooden sign in the right. On it were some simple rules. 1. Pick up the knife and the game starts. 2. You need to chop off every fruit bomb. Tip. Each fruit contains a lot of energy. After the fruit lands, it will explode and force the illusion to end. Start. Lu Ming grabbed the knife. Fruits were thrown down from the second floor of the restaurant, the speed was not too fast. When Lu Ming swung the knife, the fruit was chopped in half and disappeared. The time on the plaque was moving. One second. Two seconds. Very soon. The fruits fell at a faster speed as time progressed. Lu Ming was in a hurry and a fruit landed on the ground. The illusion froze and nothing was left except the time on the plaque. Whoosh! Whoosh! The time on the plaque kept increasing. 20.1 seconds. Thought this was Lu Ming's score. Fairly okay. Lu Ming felt very satisfied. Although it seemed to be very unreal, it could provide enough fun. According to his plan, the fruits would drop at an increasing speed and in the end one could not even see the fruits with naked eye. This was the limit of this card. It was a simple game. It had a very simple setup. The next issue was how he should sell the card. Would it be easy to sell? Of course not. Why wasn't there any entertainment in this world? Because of its low cultural level. Of course not. It was because this world was really dangerous. There was not enough time to cultivate, let alone play. Over time, entertainment did not flourish here. Therefore, if he marketed it as entertainment and relaxation, Lu Ming knew that he would not be able to sell a single card. Unless. He tied it up with cultivation. Cultivation. Lu Ming had an idea. Of course, before that, he had to have enough stocks. Chapter 4 Debut You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Debut Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios 10 Days Lu Ming had been rampantly creating cards for 10 consecutive days. During this period, Zhang Xiaopeng dropped by once. He could not understand Lu Ming's way of creating the cards. Brother Lu, you can make and sell the cards at the same time. You will understand in the time to come. Lu Ming smiled but said nothing. Ten days. Three hundred cards. He had to make an average of thirty cards per day. This was already Lu Ming's limit. If he had not exhausted his scarce resources and almost depleted his energy stones, he would most likely have continued creating cards rampantly for a few more days. Cheers, this was the prerequisite skill of a programmer. 300 cards. Don't know how much I can earn. Lu Ming took a deep breath. 300 Fruit Ninja 1. Star cards. The blank card costs 30 yuan each and one card depleted energy at a cost of about 20 yuan. In that case, the cost price would be about 50 yuan. 300 blank cards. Just the cost alone was 100,000 and 5,000 yuan. This was the last of Lu Ming's savings. If this were to fail, most likely, he would really have to sing Chrysanthemum Terrace, 1. Chrysanthemum Terrace is a famous mandapop song by Sang by J. Cho, that depicts melancholic and sorrowful feelings. If we want to market Fruit Ninja, it will be a fad. Therefore, we have to manage the time we have well. Lu Ming had been calculating. As to the number of uses. It was best to use a specialized illusion activator. 
The specialized illusion activator was specially developed for the illusion card typically, there was only one card slot on it for inserting the illusion card. The center of the equipment was used to store the energy stone. There were only two buttons on it, a start and stop button. Lu Ming had his reasons for selecting the illusion activator. First, the rate of energy consumption. Normal portable card activators used energy cards. It was more cumbersome and costly to create and use energy cards. If he did that, the cons would outweigh the pros. As such, although the illusion activator was not portable, it used energy stone. As this would do. Second was for safety reasons. The illusion activator was specially designed for illusion cards. It was typically safe to use. Upon the detection of danger, the machine would automatically trip, giving the user substantial protection. Third, was because of the frequency of usage. Normally, the card would be dissipated after a one-dot time usage. With the illusion activator, one could continue to activate the cards uninterruptedly as long as there was still energy and time left. As long as the illusion time had not been used up, one could continue with the activation. It was very powerful. In that case, one card could be used many times. If those people could only persist for a short time, most likely the frequency of usage would be higher. 300 cards was more than sufficient. Lu Ming went through the plan again to confirm that there was no issue before he took a break. Early the next morning, under the radiant shine of the sun. When the crowd on the streets began to grow, Lu Ming walked out of the shop, carrying an enormous poster and standing on the side of the street in front of the door. Eh. Yeah. The passers-by were stunned as they casted unintentional glances at him. There was no other reason. It was because of the shocking tagline. Persist for 100 seconds if you are a man. The contents of the poster were even more stunning. Are you a man? If you are, come and challenge your limit. This is the powerful secret of a civilian grandmaster. He used this training method. The powerful reaction speed made him persist longer than ordinary folks. This is the first cultivation card in history. It will improve your reaction speed in all areas. Greater efficiency, greater focus. One experience only costs you 100 yuan. You will neither be shortchanged nor conned. You can buy an opportunity to boost your ability. P.S. The one who can persist for the longest time in seven days will receive 10,000 yuan as a reward. The content was shocking and surrounded by screaming exclamation marks. This humongous poster attracted all the passers-by's attention instantly. This is. Many people halted their steps. There was a lot of content in the poster. Beside the bold words, there were many rules, prices and information written in neat and tidy handwriting below them. Challenge the limit. The first cultivation card. Can improve your reaction speed. The powerful secret of a grandmaster. The one who persists the longest will be rewarded with 10,000 yuan. And one experience only costs you 100 yuan. Undoubtedly. Many people were tempted. These keywords undoubtedly enticed them. Improving your ability required hard work and practice. Even if one had various heavenly and earthly treasures, it was not something achievable by an ordinary person. However, this place. Only 100 yuan. Why not give it a try? Furthermore, there was a solid reward of 10,000 yuan. Is it real or not? Don't know. Why don't you go and try it? The crowd began whispering and discussing with one another. The number of onlookers was increasing. Lu Ming squatted in front of the door, smiling and looking at the people before him. In the eyes of these people, he had become a mobile money sign. 100 yuan. 100 yuan. He felt at ease and happy as he swept his glance across the crowd. Boss, let me try, a middle-age passerby said calmly. To him, 100 yuan was not a problem but his time was very precious. Hence, he did not wish to waste it further. He might as well try it out. 
Sure. Lu Ming welcomed him into the shop. In the middle of the shop, he had reserved sufficient space and drew a dot on the middle of the floor. He asked the middle dot aged man to stand on the dot and then prepared the illusion activator. Hurry. The middle dot aged man hurried him impatiently. All right. Lu Ming smiled. The people around the door stood on the sidelines. Click. Lu Ming pressed the start button. At that very instant, the eyes of the middle dot aged man focused. Obviously, he had entered the illusion. What kind of rubbish is this? The middle dot aged man furrowed his brows. Seemingly, he had never seen such a rubbish illusion before. No, not seemingly. He really had not seen such an ugly and trashy illusion before. Background. No way. He took a glance and there was nothing ten meters away. This illusion was only a small thing before him, and it was truly an extremely lowly and dilapidated restaurant that gave him goosebumps. As he looked ahead. It was like a beginner's graffiti. The scene was full of mosaics. This kind of. Rubbish. Can be built into an illusion too. The middle dot aged man couldn't believe his eyes. Illusions were not something that could be casually formed by some things. At the very least, a stable and complete cycle was needed to create it successfully. These were actually considered complete. At that instance, although the onlookers at the door could not see the illusion, they were a little disappointed after hearing the middle dot aged man's words. True enough. They knew that nothing could be both cheap and good. What could 100 yuan improve on? It's a hoax. It seems so. This young guy is so good looking. I didn't expect that he would actually con others. Humph. I will go and report him to the area manager later. Close down this rubbish shop. There was a lot of discussion in the crowd. Hee <laughs> hee. Lu Ming was smiling and looking at them. He was not anxious. He believed that there would definitely be a positive outcome. At this very moment. In the illusion, that middle dot aged man lifted the knife after reading the rules of the game. In order to achieve a better cultivation, you're not allowed to use energy. Hee <laughs> hee. Obviously, this illusion is too shabby. The use of energy from any cultivator will only cause the illusion to collapse. For the sake of cultivation outcome. TSK TSK. The middle dot aged man ridiculed the game. Also, the feeling of this knife. What the hell? It feels very uncomfortable. The middle dot aged man was already speechless. He was certain he had never seen such a rubbish illusion. The existence of such a card was simply an insult. He was about to ridicule the game again when, all of a sudden, a gust of wind blew past him. A yellow object attacked him. When he instinctively moved away, the fruit fell onto the ground with a loud thud. Bang! The illusion was over. When he regained his senses, he was back to the dot at the center of the shop. Middle dot aged man. This. He had a look of confusion on his face. Obviously, he did not expect the illusion to end so quickly. How long did you persist? Lu Ming took a curious glance. The amount of energy depleted was recorded on the illusion activator. When the middle dot aged man raised the knife, his energy began to deplete rapidly, and the duration that he persisted. You actually persisted for only one second. Lu Ming looked at the middle dot aged man with shock and surprise. I, that middle dot aged man's face was swelling in red. This rubbish illusion. The illusion is indeed simple and crude, Lu Ming said matter dot of dot factly. This is an illusion for beginners. If the illusion is too complicated, the difficulty level will increase greatly. However, you can't even get through this kind of difficulty level. Lu Ming's tone was full of doubts. I can. I just wasn't focused. The middle dot aged man explained, I was only paying attention to the items in the illusion. Lu Ming gave a long sigh. 
precisely, there is nothing in the rest of the illusion. This is to prevent people like you from being distracted. Otherwise, the difficulty level will be too high. How much more cultivation do you need? Lu Ming said in a serious manner. Let me try it again. The middle-aged man's expression was a little ugly. In particular, when he saw the gazes of countless people around him coupled with Lu Ming's bewildered look of, you actually persisted for only one second, he felt a tinge of pain in his heart. It was fine that his wife said that to him at night. Why did you have to say that too during the day? I'll try again. The middle-aged man gritted his teeth. One hundred yuan. Lu Ming said with a smile. Sure. The middle-aged man gnashed his teeth and entered the illusion again. The surrounding people looked at one another. They had not expected to see such a scene. If the illusion was truly trash, shouldn't he have come out of it and immediately scolded him? It seemed that. This situation was quite interesting. The onlookers were already planning to leave but their interests were suddenly piqued. At this very moment. In the illusion. That middle-aged man raised his knife in preparation. Swoosh. With ease, he slashed the first fruit that dropped and the fruit vanished. So, that was the goal. He finally understood what this so-called cultivation was about. He very quickly familiarized himself, picked up the knife in a relaxed manner and began to slash the fruits. The time on the display board also began to roll. In the end. At 90.3 seconds, he did not manage to slash one fruit out of carelessness. The illusion ended. This made him boil with anger, especially when he saw the headline persist for 100 seconds if you are a man. I'll try again. After exiting the illusion, he did not hesitate at all. He simply paid the money. Sure. Of course, Lu Ming was delighted with what was happening. The people from outside surrounded them, looking at one another. This. What was happening? The reaction of the middle-aged man seemed to have made them realize something. Could this so-called cultivation card really improve their reaction speed? If that was really the case. At this very moment. In the illusion, the middle-aged man was fully focused on staring at the fruits flying towards him. 90.2 seconds. 90.3 seconds. 90.4 seconds. True enough he managed to pass the stage that he was not able to earlier. It was just that. Before he could regain his senses, a fruit flew towards him at lighting speed. He instinctively slashed towards it but did not succeed. The fruit simply smashed onto the ground. The illusion was over. Damn. Why didn't I see it? Almost. If only my reaction time was a little faster. The middle-aged man was sure. That was not too difficult and he could definitely manage it. It was just a slip-up. Again. After he exited, he entered the illusion without any hesitation again. This time, he persisted till 90.6 seconds. Again. This time, he persisted till 90.7 seconds. Again. This time, he persisted till 90.9 seconds. Again. It was still 90.9 seconds. Again. It was still 90.9 seconds. Again. 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 Almost. Just a little more. The middle-aged man was like an intoxicated man. He knew that he was only lacking a little. As long as he reacted a little faster and more agilely, as long as he prepared well, he could definitely persist till 100 seconds. He knew. He could definitely pass it. Again. That middle-aged man touched his pocket. He actually ran out of money. At that moment, the middle-aged man widened his eyes. How could that be possible? He had brought 3,000 yuan with him when he left the house. Thereafter, he looked at the records. He had actually tried it for 30 times. 
was it that many times? He actually indulged in this rubbish illusion for that long. P.S. The more, the merrier. Please give your vote. Chapter 5 Business is hot you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 5 Business is hot translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, looks like you have to come again next time. Lu Ming smiled. You can leave your contact number. I will go according to your highest record of 90.9 seconds today. If you come out on top, you can come and collect 10,000 yuan next week. I, the middle-aged man wanted to write down his contact details but he felt a little embarrassed. Persist for 100 seconds if you are a man, but you could not even persist for 100 seconds. Yet, you had the shame to write your name down. Collect the prize. There was simply no way he could do that. That. I don't want the reward. Can you let me experience it again? The middle-aged man said indignantly, I almost. Really? Just once will do. I will pay you back another time. Really? I will be able to pass if I try it one more time. I don't have any issue. But. Lu Ming spread out his hands and pointed at the people surrounding them outside. You have to ask them. The middle-aged man turned around. It was only then that he discovered that the entrance of the shop was full of people. He was not sure when that had happened. At this moment, they were glaring at him with hostility, just short of beating him up. Sir, you have experienced it for a long time. A burly man was looking ferociously at him. Exactly. One youngster shriveled his lips. If you can't, you can't. Why are you pretending? I can do it. The middle-aged man's face was flushed. Wait for me. I'm going home to get money. Upon finishing his words, the middle-aged man hurried and left. Who's the next one? Lu Ming was overjoyed. Me. Me. Everyone was eager to participate. It's finally my turn now after queuing. Someone rushed in. Sure. Lu Ming arranged the illusion for him. After the experience with that middle. Aged man, everyone knew that this was a very shabby illusion. Nevertheless, it seemed to be helpful in improving reaction speed. Hence, they were more patient. They experienced the various fruits that flew towards them. Once. Twice. Thrice. Again. 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 More people experienced it and rushed home like the middle-aged man. 90.6 seconds. 90.7 seconds. 90.8 seconds. 90.9 seconds. Most of the people were stuck at this point. Dot the reason was very simple. Lu Ming had set up an outburst with a high difficulty level at that point. The speed of the fruits was unchanged but the quantity increased. That was what many people hated. Of course. The difficulty level that he set up was not really that difficult. It gave the players the feeling that they could definitely pass it as long as they tried a little harder. It was just a slip up earlier. If they had been slightly quicker, it would not be a problem. If they could finish up a little faster the second before, they would not have any problems for the next second. Most people adopted such mindsets. So. Lu Ming smiled and looked on. After they swiped their cards to the limit, they left indignantly. Besides being a programmer who worked like a dog in his previous life, he was also a master of games. He had the nicknames of Avid Gamer, Nio, the affectionate Yarnum Visitor, and many more. It was simply too easy to develop Fruit Ninja into a difficult game. Boss, can I buy this? Someone suggested. In normal circumstances, a place that allowed you to experience the card also sold the card itself. Not available temporarily. Lu Ming shook his head. You have seen it for yourself. The cards that I have created are limited. 
Once I sell them, I'm afraid all of them will be purchased by one person. What will everyone else think? Whoosh! A row of sinister eyes looked in their direction. The person who wanted to buy the cart earlier ran away immediately. Hee hee. Lu Ming smiled but said nothing. The reason that he was not selling the card was very simple. It was not encrypted. Encryption was a skill in the card creating industry. With encryption, it was not so easy for others to replicate your card. Unfortunately, he had not picked up the skill. If he were to sell the cards now. In less than one hour's time, all the shops nearby would have this kind of card. What was good about selling the cards? Many people were coming here for the experience. Lu Ming smirked. He was certain that today's sales would be extremely wonderful. In the afternoon, some people came on their friends' recommendations. However, not everyone was a fool. Many people realized the problem. This kind of method. Why did they have the feeling that they were falling into a pit? One person had just spent 1,000 yuan. Does it really help? Someone said doubtingly. Come. Lu Ming asked with a smile, let me ask you. How long did you persist the first time? Twenty seconds. That person replied. What about now? Berm. 90.8 seconds, that person said. Oh, that's brilliant, Lu Ming praised. He then said, see, haven't you increased your duration? Why do you think you escaped from so many fruits? Uh, looking at Lu Ming's approving and adoring glance, he blurted out, because. Because my reaction speed is now faster. Correct answer. Lu Ming was very satisfied. You should all think about it. If a person's reaction speed is especially fast, will they be able to dodge these fruits more easily? The audience surrounding them nodded instinctively. Yes. If one's reaction speed was fast enough, of course one could easily destroy all the fruits. Why didn't they pass that level? Obviously, their speed was not fast enough. Remember. You need to have a faster reaction time in in order to persist longer. Lu Ming said in a grave and serious tone, of course, if you feel that your improvement is not significant enough, we can put it in another way. If. If you are fighting with your enemy outside. You will not be dodging fruits but hidden weapons. Everyone gasped a breath of cold air. Wasn't that so? If they were not fruits but hidden weapons. They felt a wave of fear just thinking about it. Think carefully. Are you able to shoot down more hidden weapons? Even if you're not a warrior and don't shoot them down, does it mean that you can dodge them? The longer you persist, the more powerful you will become. Lu Ming concluded and everyone was deeply convinced. It seemed very logical. The youngster who had doubts in the beginning was also convinced. Then. Let's continue. Lu Ming smiled and looked at them. Who's next? Me. Let me go first. A group of people were eager to try. Lu Ming smiled very happily. Right then. Naturally, the shops located a few streets away noticed this scene. They were well aware of Lu Ming's business and had not seen anyone in the shop for a whole month. They were even betting on when it would close down. Counting the days. It should be almost time. So. When they saw a huge crowd in the morning, they had thought that Lu Ming had begun to clear his warehouse goods. However, that was not the case according to sources. That Lu Ming seemed to have created an illusion card and was experimenting with it. Initially, it was not worth bothering about this kind of matter. After all, Lu Ming was just a small card creator and he was a rookie. What threat could he pose? Using a one-dot-start energy card to threaten him. Hence, they did not care at all. However, this situation had persisted for an entire morning. The flow of human traffic there had not ceased yet. That was slightly problematic. Can you go and take a look at the situation? 
some of the shop owners sent their subordinates to check it out. However, after two hours, they came back and said that they could not manage to get into the queue. Yes. Could not get into the queue. This was a weird response. The only thing that they brought back was the shocking content of the poster and the audience's response. Cultivation card. Improve your reaction speed. Fruits. 90.9 seconds. Can these be real? Some people did not care but some had a grave expression on their faces. Later on, some shop owners and card creators decided to personally make a trip to check out Lu Min's shop. What kind of tricks was he up to? 100 yuan per try. Based on preliminary estimates, the number of experiences today has exceeded a thousand times. This time, the surrounding shops had become really restless. Initially, they were not bothered and just watching the fun. After all, such new illusion cards relied on one's imagination. Occasionally, there were a few good ones that earned a lot of money but they did not expect the profits to be so frightening. More than a thousand times. Wasn't that a hundred thousand yuan? What exactly is Lu Ming up to? They felt a little fearful. A hundred thousand yuan a day. What kind of concept earned that much? It was too shocking. Hurry. We have to know what is happening. Xian Xinkai, the owner of the Yi Z chain store, had a solemn expression on his face. Get the people from the shop to make a trip there. No matter what reasons they use, they have to find out what is happening. His store was the largest card shop in Qingming City. They could not lose out to others. Boss. We can't not get into the queue, the shop assistant said, feeling wronged. Dot. The boss was a little speechless. Are you an idiot? Do you have to try it personally? Why don't you look for those who have experienced it before? Pay a high price to buy their information. I think they will be very willing to make this trade. At this very moment. At another card shop. Interesting. The boss took action so quickly. Zhang Chun, the owner of Chun Pin Card Shop, was a little surprised. The flagship shop of Yi Z Chain Store in this area was a strong competitor. They outperformed Chun Pin Card Shop, which was originally the market leader in this area. They were very powerful and had abundant resources. Normally, such a large flagship store would not bother about a small shop. Judging from this, the situation was more interesting he had imagined. Lu Ming. Zhang Chen knocked on the table. Follow the person from EZ. Do whatever they are going to do. In addition, investigate whether Lu Ming has come into contact with any illusionist these past two days. Yes. To no one's knowledge, when the popularity of Lu Ming's shop increased, there was an undercurrent of tension in the entire street. Countless pairs of eyes were staring at the shop. The more famous Fruit Ninja was, the scarier the sales and the more they wanted to know. There was no other reason. The profits created by this card were too shocking. What kind of concept was worth 100,000 yuan of profit? One top dot notch three dot start card could only do so much. Now, Lu Ming actually succeeded with a small one dot start illusion card. He was a huge sensation in this downtown area. What did this mean? Taking over of this card would mean taking over the profits. This was especially true for Qian Shinkai from Yi Zi Chain Store. Zhang Chun. That idiot's foresight is only restricted to Qingming City. Since this card can cause a sensation here, naturally, it can also cause a sensation elsewhere. If I find out what makes this card special and hand it over to headquarters, they can then share it with all the branches. Just the thought of it made Qian Shinkai excited. He was determined to get a hold of this card. Chapter 6 Pirated Goods Everywhere You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 Pirated Goods Everywhere Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios The Sky Gradually darkened. The day passed by slowly. 
in Lu Ming's shop. Although the illusion did not allow the customers to use their energy, people who had been through cultivation, they exceeded 100 seconds and began to set a new record. Fruit Ninja was meant for these people. One could improve on one's reaction time through effort and cultivation. This was all the more thrilling for those who did not pass the mark. They would devote all their time to practice. The business was especially hot. Lu Ming had created a 10-day supply of the cards. But they had all been used up. There was nothing left. While many people were felt unconvinced, Lu Ming announced that the shop would be closed for the day. Boss, we will be back tomorrow. Boss, prepare some more cards tomorrow. The crowd began to disperse. Okay. Lu Ming said with a smile. When everyone left, he began to count the day's income. Since many customers only lasted for a few seconds or even ten seconds for their first try, a card was used for many times. The total number of tries was 1,400 times. 300 cards. He had earned 140,000 yuan. Aside from the capital of 20,000 yuan, the net profit was as high as 120,000 yuan. 120,000 yuan. It was beyond imagination. After paying off his debts, he would have 20,000 yuan left. Of course, he could not touch the 20,000 yuan. He had to set aside some money to create cards as well as for the special prize of 10,000 yuan that he promised as part of his marketing campaign. However, at least he would no longer owe anything. Little kid. I can help you pay off the debts that you owe. Lu Ming spoke to little Lu Ming secretly in his head. Whoosh, a breeze blew past. It was somewhat cold. Lu Ming peered outside. It was getting late. Most of the shops had closed for the day. There were not many pedestrians. He could not help but feel a sense of desolation and bleakness. However, Lu Ming knew that some things had just begun. Was Fruit Ninja popular? Of course. Especially now. After those people went back home, through word of mouth Fruit Ninja would be even more popular tomorrow. The crowd would be so much bigger than today. His profit might amount to thousands upon thousands or even hundreds of millions. Nobody would give up. Especially the smart ones on the streets and in the district. Would people come? Lu Ming was hopeful. There was a round figure outside the door who made his way into the shop. It was Zhang Xiaopeng. Brother Lu, I am here. Zhang Xiaopeng looked joyous. Why are you here? Lu Ming did not look happy. Why can't it be me? Zhang Xiaopeng widened his eyes. Let me tell you, Brother Lu, someone came looking for me today. 100,000 yuan. The person offered 100,000 yuan to buy the method to build the illusion for Fruit Ninja. Someone went to look for you. Lu Ming's heart skipped a beat. If those people went to look for Xiaopeng, it meant that they would not look for him. Of course. Zhang Xiaopeng looked proud of himself. I have many years of experience in this field. I have finally made my name. But I am not that kind of person. 100,000 yuan. There is no room for negotiation. No matter how desperate I need the money, I won't betray my friends. He noticed that Lu Ming was looking at him as if he were a fool. What's up? Zhang Xiaopang was puzzled. Are you a fool? Lu Ming felt pained at the loss. If he wanted to buy it, you should have sold it to him. Ha! Huh. Zhang Xiaopang was dumbfounded. This. Isn't this your secret design? It is indeed. Lu Ming spread out his hands. But the structure for the Fruit Ninja is so simple. How long do you think those who played Fruit Ninja will need to recreate it? Zhang Xiaopeng was stunned momentarily. How long could it be? Three hours. Four hours. He was perplexed. Even if they could not get the design right, they could get a few more people together to figure out the structure. Why didn't you tell me earlier? 
Zhang Xiaopeng wailed. Dot 100,000 yuan. That was 100,000 yuan. It was enough for him to visit brothels for a couple of times. It was such a pity. I didn't expect you to be so stupid. Lu Ming noticed that there was resentment in Zhang Xiaopang's eyes and he coughed to cover up before he hastily changed his attitude. I didn't expect you to be so loyal. I think that it is nothing. Look, although we have lost 100,000 yuan, I realize that you are very loyal. In the future, I will ask you to create more and better cards for me. I have gained a lot from this. Lu Ming patted him on the shoulder. He really thought so. Initially, he just treated Zhang Xiaopang as a normal friend. He did not expect that he would be so loyal. Although it cost him 100,000 yuan, he felt that it was worth it. I still feel very upset. Zhang Xiaopang sighed. It was my mistake. Lu Ming thought for a while. I thought they would come to me. To look for you. Zhang Xiaopang did not understand. After all, I am the creator of the Fruit Ninja. Lu Ming felt perplexed. Logically speaking, the owners of Yi Zi Chain Store, Zhang Chun and other stores should come to look for me to discuss buying the illusion from me. I will definitely sell it for 100,000 yuan. That was a lot of money. You're right. Zhang Xiaopang felt strange as well. Logically speaking, they were willing to contact him and to buy the design from him for 100,000 yuan. Why did they not contact Lu Ming? I guess I probably know why. Lu Ming suddenly thought of one thing. What was his net profit today? 120,000 yuan. What did this mean? Fruit Ninja card was a chicken that laid golden eggs. If Lu Ming could make a net net profit of 120,000 yuan every day in his small and ordinary shop, if it was in bigger shops, what would the net profit be? Apparently it would be an astronomical figure. In that case, how much did it cost to buy this card? 100,000 yuan. How could that be possible? They could earn back the money in one day. That. 1 million yuan. It was unlikely. The craze would at most last for 8 to 9 days. Therefore, they would need 10 million or even more to buy this card. But what if they designed another similar card? They did not need to spend that much money. 100,000 yuan would do. Under these circumstances, who would look for Lu Ming? I never expected it to turn out this way. Zhang Xiaopang was dumbfounded after listening to his explanation. They looked at each other, with an anguished look on their faces. It was money. It's all right. Anyway, you will create other cards in the future. Zhang Xiaopang comforted him. I could only look at it this way. Lu Ming sighed but if he looked at it carefully, he still felt upset. He had already expected that there would be many pirated versions of the Fruit Ninja. He was prepared for it. That was why he only created 300 cards in 10 days so that he could sell everything in one go. But he felt upset that he could not get any royalties from those people. No. I still feel indignant. Lu Ming flipped through the contacts to look for Yi Zi Chain Store's contact number and gave them a call. I am the creator of Fruit Ninja. I am looking for your boss. Ah. Uh. The other party paused momentarily. Wait a minute. He waited for a long while. A middle-aged man spoke on the other end of the phone. His voice was calm. Hello, what do you want? Hello, Mr. Qian. Lu Ming took a deep breath. I want to sell the design plan and concept as well as the creative ideas of the Fruit Ninja card to you. We don't need it. Qian Shinkai was very direct. Why? Lu Ming asked. Because we've just created it. Qian Shinkai smiled. You are indeed creative to create this kind of stuff. But it will have no value after one look at it. Lu Ming remained silent. Well, what about copyright? 
Although there are many pirated versions, you could say that it is the founder's legal right. Moreover, I have some better ideas. I can improve the card to provide a better experience. Nobody cares. Xian Shinkai rejected him. All right. Lu Ming appeared to be regretful. It seems that there is no chance of cooperation. Since you have created it, can I be presumptuous enough to ask how much money you spent to create it? Half a million yuan. Qian Shinkai felt smug about the deal. He must be thinking of selling to them at an exorbitant price. No way. It was acceptable if it was a high dot level card that contained advanced skills. This was just a low dot level ordinary card. There was no encryption and the content was so simple. How could it fetch a high price? He spent half a million yuan on it so that he could be the first person to have it. He had to make sure that he could create the fruit ninja faster than anyone. That was why he was willing to spend a large sum of money to buy the related information from several people, and to hire a card creator and illusionist at a high price to recreate it. But. Lu Ming paused. I am only selling it at 50,000 yuan. Ha. Huh. Qian Shinkai was dumbstruck. 50. 50,000 yuan. His mind went blank. He hung up the phone, and it took him a long time to come back to senses. 50,000 yuan. Why would he sell the card that would bring a net profit of more than 100,000 yuan a day for 50,000 yuan? Was he sick? Was he out of his mind? If he had known this, he would have bought it directly from him. Why did he go to all this trouble? Ah. He quoted Zhang Xiaopeng more than 100,000 yuan and he did not agree. This was crap. Qian Shinkai felt upset. Although he had sent the application to the head office, he was too anxious and the process took so long that he forked out half a million himself. It was too bad. At this very moment, in Lu Ming's shop. Cool. Lu Ming hung up the phone, looking delighted. He not only gave Qian Shinkai a phone call, he also gave Zhang Chun as well as the shop owners of the nearby large shops a call. He told them that he would sell it at tens of thousands of yuan. However, those who spent a lot of money to create the pirated versions would not waste the money to buy it. Therefore, Lu Ming had gotten back at them. He told every shop owner that he was willing to sell it at 10 or 20,000 yuan. Are you trying to upset them? Zhang Xiaopeng was speechless. Since other people had already created it, obviously they would not buy it. He suggested a very low price purely to agitate the bosses. He <laughs> he. Lu Ming smiled. You must know, under normal circumstances, our happiness is based on the pain of others, especially those who have conflicting interests with us. If they are unhappy, we will naturally be happy. Zhang Xiaopeng was speechless. He suddenly felt that it was better to not provoke Lu Ming. He did not have the correct moral values. It seems that there will be a lot of pirated versions tomorrow. Zhang Xiaopeng sighed. Since these shops have a pirated version of Fruit Ninja, they will be rushing to mass create it. By tomorrow morning, the shops nearby will have Fruit Ninja. The Fruit Ninja craze might be really over the top. Furthermore, Zhang Xiaopeng knew very well where he ranked among the others. His skills were too low. Level and shoddy. Any other illusionist would be able to create better illusions than his and the card creator that they selected would be just as outstanding. The cost of creating the cards would be even lower. They could not compete with them. They did not even have the right to participate in this fruit war tomorrow. There is no hurry. On the contrary, Lu Ming was very calm. As a programmer who worked like a dog, he knew very well that many of the companies in his previous life closed down because their creative ideas and their products had been plagiarized. Such a scene was very familiar. We shall monitor the situation tomorrow. If you prevent me from making money, then don't blame me for going overboard, Lu Ming said calmly. Zhang Xiaopang was on tenterhooks. This guy. 
what was he trying to do now? P.S. It's a new book period, so I'm looking for votes and all kinds of support. Ah. Chapter 7. Emotional Meltdown You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7. Emotional Meltdown Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios The Next Day. Lu Ming opened the shop early in the morning. The first thing he did was to pay back the money that he loaned from the loan company. Although there was still some time before the repayment date, Lu Ming had already prepared 100,000 yuan, which was the money he owed them in addition to the accumulative interests. There was nothing they could say. Look. What a caring client. If they were to loan the money to someone else, they would be able to earn lots of money. They had destroyed all the nude photos of the boy dressed up in ladies' clothes. He gave them 100,000 cash on the spot. The loan company was very familiar with all the procedures. The tattooed man from the company was very satisfied with their transaction. Although the company had been cheated initially and there were some twists and turns, everything had turned out well. It was just that he gave Lu Ming odd stares. It was not a threatening stare, instead it seemed weird. Could it be that he looked too beautiful when he was dressed up as a woman? That was what Lu Ming had in mind. Hey kid, you can contact me anytime you need. The tattooed man destroyed the photos and left. It's over. Lu Ming felt relieved. It was the best decision to end it today. On the surface, these companies might seem to follow the rules. Even for the so-called nude photos, on the surface, they termed them as credit loans. As long as the money was returned, all the nude photos would naturally be destroyed. Little Lu Ming had also inquired about several loan companies nearby and came to the conclusion that the reputation of this company was good, and they did not cause serious trouble. Therefore he decided to take out a loan from them. However, Lu Ming knew very well that this was only on the surface. Once their other shady income was much larger than this shell company, they would not hesitate to clinch a big deal and then reopen another company in a different location. There were all sorts of loan companies. Apple Loan, Banana Loan, Durian Loan. But all of them might be opened by one person. They didn't know that we made Fruit Ninja. That was why they ended the transaction right away. Lu Ming knew this very well. Now that the photos had been destroyed, he had resolved little Lu Ming's problems. If these people came looking for trouble in the future, then they must not blame them for calling the police. Since the problem of using nude photos as collateral to obtain loans had been resolved, he could worry about the market now. He was not demanding. Those shops earned a lot of money. He only asked that he could have a small income. After all, he was slow in creating cards. If there was a high demand, he would not be able to fulfill the orders. However, he had been thinking too much. After one night, Fruit Ninja had been sought after by everyone. He went online to check for relevant news. Right now, Fruit Ninja had set off a fanatic wave. There seemed to be some shops which did marketing, and all of Qingming City was talking about the card now. All the other shops also responded quickly to the current trend. Other than the few shops in the city area, Fruit Ninja card could be found in all of Qingming City. Were there other similar cultivation methods? Of course there were. However, they were mostly boring. While with Fruit Ninja it was much more interesting to cultivate yourself while playing the game. Many people, even children, were willing to cultivate themselves. He heard that a secondary school principal took a look and felt that this was a good product, saying that he would propose in the near future to use this in school as science cultivation. Right then. All the shops in the city center were providing Fruit Ninja card at a cheap price. 80 yuan for a try. 50 yuan for a try. 20 yuan for a try. Each shop was lower than the other. In the end, everyone simply standardized to 20 yuan for a try. Moreover, the illusion that they created was more realistic and had more images. It was much better than his illusion. 
since the creation costs were low, their profits were still very significant. As expected. Lu Ming did not feel the least bit surprised. The world of pirated goods was indeed unscrupulous. In his previous life, although the game companies had a lot of pirated products, the players would scold them for having pirated goods. But no one seemed to care here. This was because precious cards used a strong encryption technology. If one could figure it out, it would mean that the person was very skilled. If so, then don't blame me for going overboard. Lu Ming stretched himself. He only wanted to earn tens of thousands yuan as his start.up capital. Since he was denied the money, everyone should give up the thought of making money from it. At the thought of this, Lu Ming gave Zhang Xiaopeng a call. Fatty, come here, I have big plans for you. What's up? Zhang Xiaopeng had doubts. Turn the table, Lu Ming said with a smile. Right then. Xian Shinkai sat in his office, feeling delighted. Although someone made him very upset yesterday and he was in a bad mood the entire night, how could he not be happy from looking at the sales and reception today? The hire.ups had approved his application. Right now. He would be responsible for the pilot operation in Qingming City. The hire.ups also knew that time was critical. Therefore, they gave him one morning to prove to them that he could make profits and that the profit model would work, after which they would adopt it at all the other branches. What an honor. It would be his idea. As for the profits. He was not worried at all. 20 yuan for a try. It was enough for him to make lots of money. As for Lu Ming. He he. He was just a kid. They had no right to be involved in such a big event. It seemed like many people were there for the experience. He was already able to envision his promotion. Very soon he would be able to leave this place. Suddenly. Envy. There was a cry of shock from the outside. What's the matter? Qian Shinkai was very unhappy that his dream was interrupted. Boss, something serious has happened. The staff at the entrance panicked, pointing to the online news. Why are you in a panic? Qian Shinkai felt displeased with the interns. They would panic over little things. They should behave appropriately. As the staff of the flagship store, you must stay calm. While he was talking, he looked at the news and cursed, damn. Chun Pin Shop. Zhang Chun was looking at the increase in sales leisurely. He had to admit that the Fruit Ninja card was really good. There was a certain addiction to it, such that everyone could not help but keep trying. And keep improving. He had tried more than 10 times in order to last longer than 100 seconds. How could such a card not be popular? They had agreed on selling it for 20 yuan. It was meaningless to compete with each other to see who would give a lower price. It was better if all of them could make money. Of course, he and old Qian benefited the most from it. As for Lu Ming. He was not in their considerations. So what if he was the founder? He became worthless as soon as they managed to make pirated copies of it. He hired hundreds of card creators to create an abundance of Fruit Ninja cards overnight for the sales event today. This was the moment that he had been waiting for. They did not care for Lu Ming's small antics. Perhaps, I can expand the business, Zhang Chun thought to himself. It was just that. Right at this moment, he saw the message that was pushed by the Card Creators Association. Unlike Qian Shinkai, he was a card creator himself. He built the shop from scratch. He was part of the Card Creators Association as well. The Card Creators Association was where all the card creators learned and interacted with each other. They would exchange card creating skills, ranging from the basic lines to the high dot end core skills, and would also trade a variety of materials as well as participate in academic discussions. This was the home to all the card creators. Zhang Chun was active in the association and he would be updated with the news. However this news. Crap. One look at it and Zhang Chun turned icy cold. 
Fruit Ninja, the cultivation card that everyone should have. How did this thing show up? Zhang Chun panicked. Although Fruit Ninja was popular, it was only inside of Qingming City. Other places had absolutely no idea of this card. However, it was alright if they knew about it. The problem was. The source of the information. Damn it. He was concerned about the focus of the news. It was about the design plans of the game. That was to say, the damn thesis was about the Fruit Ninja design plan, meaning that the Fruit Ninja design plan had been disclosed to all. Sure enough. When he clicked to read, the first line that he saw was about the design plan. It was the design plan for Fruit Ninja. There was no need for illusionists to create the illusion. Since they had the design plan, all the card creators could create it by following the design plan. Zhang Chun panicked. But he soon calmed down. Never mind. We can still make some money. After all, we are one step quicker than others, we. Zhang Chun had yet to comfort himself and he broke out in cold sweats when he saw the second half of the thesis. In the thesis, there was a detailed introduction of the function of Fruit Ninja and it stated that this was design plan for Fruit Ninja 2. Zero version. In addition to the original basic design, it also contained the following content. 1. Points accumulation design, time mode was changed accordingly to points accumulation mode. 2. Fun design, addition of consecutive chopping of fruits bonus points, as well as clearing of all fruits bonus points. 3. Increase in varieties, increased fruit varieties. 4. Bomb design, addition of the bomb clearance system. A dead bomb see bane found among the fruits, and it cannot be touched. 5. Life design, in the original design, one would die after failing. In the new design, one has three lives, which creates a longer experience and enables the player is able to better control the speed. 6. Selection of weapons, addition of more weapons. Damn. Zhang Chun had an emotional meltdown. What was this? This was an upgrade to the Fruit Ninja. More comprehensive. More powerful. More efficient. The cards that they created overnight had turned useless in an instant. And, most importantly, the design plan was open to all. There was no need for illusionists. All they needed was a card creator and they could create it easily. The price was marked clearly. No one would be willing to waste their money at the shops. They would definitely scold them for being after their money. Would they scold Lu Ming? Hee <laughs> hee. Although Lu Ming sold a lot of cards at 100 yuan per try yesterday, he had stated his reasons for sharing the design plan at the end of the thesis. This was originally intended for commercial sales, but after learning that many educators were interested in this card, I have decided to make it public after improving and finalizing it. Children are the strong ones of the future. They should have better physical qualities. They should have a better cultivation illusion. These are my gifts to them. Lu Ming, founder of Fruit Ninja. Look. This was a gift to growing children. All those people who were basking in the glory should be happy that they could earn some money, they did not have any right to blame other people. The shop. Zhang Chun hurried out of the office. True enough. The crowd was gone in an instant. No one was a fool. This was important news and everyone in Qingming City learned about it in no time. No one would waste their money on semi-dot-finished products. They could use the design plan and get a card creator to create the card for them. It's over. Zhang Chun trembled slightly as he looked at the thousands of Fruit Ninja cards at the counter. All these cards had become useless. Heaven knew how much he had spent on them. Lu Ming He wanted to hate Lu Ming, but then he suddenly remembered that he only wanted to sell it at 20 to 30,000 yuan, but he had refused his offer. The other party did not get a single cent but was willing to share the design plan with the Card Creators Association in order to gain popularity. It seemed reasonable. Why did he not think of it? 
oh. He had thought of it, but he could not care much about it. Because they did not expect that other than sharing the design plan, he would create an upgraded version of the Fruit Ninja. He only had one thought in mind now. If I had known. Wouldn't it have been nice to give him 20,000 yuan yesterday? He felt very regretful. And at this moment, he was not the only one who had such a thought. All the shops in the downtown area, especially those shops that Lu Ming called and contacted last night, hated themselves. Why did they not accept his offer? This was the upgraded version of the Fruit Ninja. Moreover, no one had expected that this card which was to test one's reaction could have so many other components added to it. But at a closer look, it seemed very reasonable. There was even a feeling that this was the complete version of the Fruit Ninja. Qian Shinkai of Yi Zi Chain Store felt chilled to the bones. He could not wait to give himself two tight slaps after reading all the content of the thesis. He was too arrogant. If he had known, he would have bought it yesterday. It was only for 50,000 yuan. Because of a mere 50,000 yuan, everything was ruined. With this design plan, the design plan that he spent half a million yuan to research yesterday, but was not equipped with enough components, as well as the fruit ninja cards that he ordered people to create in bulk overnight had become a joke. Blame Lu Ming. He had told him everything on the phone yesterday. Copyrights. Upgrade. It will only cost 50,000 yuan. As for him. Everything dimmed out around Qian Shenkai and he fainted. Manager. Store manager. People screamed in shock. Chapter 8. Crazy popularity you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8. Crazy popularity translator. Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios The fainting of Qian Shinkai was just a trivial matter. Even the losses of these downtown shops were trivial matters. With Lu Ming's full disclosure of the Fruit Ninja card, this card had really become popular. Functionality Effects Lu Ming wrote down all of them in a thesis, comprehensible with one glance. Many card creators created the cards according to the design plan and discovered that these new functions was indeed more thorough and comprehensive. It was more fun and interesting. As for the shabbiness of the illusion. On the contrary, no one cared about that anymore. It could be said that the Fruit Ninja was famous now and had gained huge popularity. Many people now knew about its original creator, Lu Ming, and his thesis. In a local school. A vice.principal who specialized in illusion studies sighed when he finished reading all of Lu Ming's ideas. Unfortunately, he is not an illusionist. The other teachers felt the same way too. Yes. It was a pity that he was not an illusionist. Illusion was the main factor of success for the Fruit Ninja card. If Lu Ming was an illusionist, that could prove his creativity in this aspect. It was a pity. He was not. He was a card creator. That proved that he only thought of this in a moment of inspiration and got someone to create this. Furthermore, it was also too late if he really possessed the talent for creating illusion. Lu Ming was already 16 years old. He had passed the best age to pick up the discipline. In order to cultivate illusion studies, he would have to give up the original card and rebuild the illusion core. It was too late for that. Hence, this vice.principal felt that it was sheer pity. How about the Card Creators Association? The vice.principal inquired. They are indifferent. After all, although the Fruit Ninja is very popular, there aren't many card creating skills involved. So, those veterans won't care. The popularity this time displays more of his talent in business. One of the teachers said. Let me think. The vice dot principal still felt a little regretful. He took the initiative to recommend Lu Ming to his good friend, who was a powerful card creator. However, that person was silent for a long time after reading the lines. This card is too shabby. It's not just the illusion. 
The entire card creating process is very shabby. Do you know what I saw? There are no skills involved at all. Putting aside the high.end card creating techniques, let's talk about this design plan. Messy and unstructured lines. Only the parts that involve the usage of energy card are neater. The positions of the rest of the lines are correct but the drawing is very sloppy. There is no aesthetic sense at all. Undoubtedly, this is a card creator that specializes in energy cards. He is cannon fodder from an energy card training institution. He's completely different from a normal card creator. He doesn't even have the basic standard skills of a card creator. Perhaps the creativity of the fruit ninja is not bad. And that made him popular. However, to a card creator. That card creator left, shaking his head. The vice dot principle did not speak for a long time. He gave a huge sigh. It's a pity. Of course, he was not the only one who had noticed Lu Ming. Lu Ming had become famous overnight and many people now paid attention to him. However, these card creators only shook their heads after looking at Lu Ming's design plan. The traces of being trained in the training institution was too obvious. The drawing cannot make it. The energy level is not stable. Not structured enough. Many card creators gave their evaluation. Everyone loved a genius but obviously not this type of genius. The training institution could churn out batches and hundreds of inferior menial gangs every year. How many of them would become successful? Furthermore, the way that the training institution treated the card creators as a money-generating machine made the card creators detest it more. As a result, they also detested the card creators who graduated from training institutions. Were they creating cards over there? They were clearly plagiarizing. Those from the training institution were not even fit to become card creators. Training institution. Ha <laughs> ha. No matter how creative he is, it cannot hide such inferior skills. Regardless of his popularity, it cannot conceal the ugliness of his drawing skills. Those from training institutions are an embarrassment to the card creators. Creating cards should be elegant. Many card creators were also bombarding Lu Ming. However, regardless of their assessment of Lu Ming, they could not fight the fact that Fruit Ninja had become popular. It was so popular to the extent that no one could ignore its presence. It was even dominating the headlines. Be it the news, internet or social circles, Fruit Ninja had taken the spotlight. How many points do you have now? 120. You. Only 150. Hee <laughs> hee. Crap. There is an outburst at 120. How did you escape that? My reaction is fast. This won't do. I have to go back and cultivate. Everyone was talking about it. Cues, arguments, points accumulation. Its popularity exploded. Fruit Ninja had almost become the card that everyone needed to have. Of course, some people were not satisfied with the shabby illusion. They began to modify it. Fruit Ninja, crazy slash of a lifetime, Fruit Ninja, Meteor Hammer, Fruit Ninja, Shooting Through the Sky, and various odd versions of it were launched. Different weapons, different occupations and even fine. Tuning of the illusion background. Building on the foundation, people amplified the effect. These illusionists brought Fruit Ninja to greater heights. Of course. Lu Ming's version was still the most popular one. It was true that the illusion was shabby, was not realistic, and lasted for a short amount of time. Nevertheless, the cost was amazingly low and no one could surpass it. Even the updated versions of it only required an energy level of 40.5 points. Who could achieve that? No one. This was because even the lowest skill of Fireball required 50 points of energy level. Some of the modified versions of the Fruit Ninja Illusion card even required more than 100 points of energy level. Naturally, the more realistic the illusion was, the more energy would be used up. 
After the problems encountered in the initial experience, various large card shops could only accept the popular edition and sell the Fruit Ninja Illusion card as a cultivation card. The cost of each card was 70 yuan. They were selling it for 100 yuan, earning only a slight margin for the workmanship. Ednell.co, Boss, One Fruit Ninja Card Boss, I want 10 pieces. Qingming City, in the outskirts. The tattooed man from the loan company was dumbstruck when he read at the reports on the internet. When he saw the few words of the so called original creator of Fruit Ninja, he felt pangs of pain in his heart. That fair.faced boy actually had such capabilities. Damn. Did you keep any negatives? The burly man beside him said, if we have negatives of his young lad, we can extort him viciously. I, the tattooed man opened his mouth slightly. He felt bad and said, this lad had long settled his debts. I have also destroyed all his information. Naturally, I have also destroyed all his photos. Don't you have a habit of keeping the negatives? The burly man glared ferociously. Don't tell me that you didn't keep a single negative of this lad. I only keep the photos of those pretty girls. The tattooed man smiled bitterly. We can extort those who are weaker in character and do some things. But this lad. Why would I keep those photos of him dressed up as a woman? Photos of a man dressed in ladies' clothes besides taking up storage space, what other use could it have? Only heaven knew. At the first sight of these photos, he was so amazed and stunned by them. He even did that. That thing. When he realized that they belonged to a man, he almost died of disgust. If not for the sake of that 100,000 yuan, he would have deleted them long ago. Why would he keep them? Who would have thought that this young lad had such capabilities? The money that we received. The few of them felt a little annoyed. Without the nude photos, they were well aware that Lu Ming would not give a shit about them. At this very moment. Just as the pirated fruit ninja was exploding in popularity, Lu Ming, this main lead, was very low dot profile. The sky gradually turned dark. Lu Ming was still making the cards in a serious manner. He was very clear on one thing. Selling the cards was for the sake of paying off the debts, and earning money was for the purpose of cultivation. In this world, the only thing that he could rely on was his own capability. He had also read the comments online. In fact, those people were right. There were many people from the training institution who were purely part of the menial gang, carrying out repetitive manual labor and jobs. That was the case for both his previous life and current life. The genius who created programs was basically a different species from the coding peasant that carried out repetitive coding tasks. In the eyes of those card creators, Lu Ming was obviously the coding peasant who was at the bottom of the hierarchy. One who only knew how to carry out repetitive manual tasks every day and did not even have a mind of his own. Nevertheless, Lu Ming did not care the slightest bit about their comments. He had just begun his journey. Sooner or later, he would let those guys know that he was a true dot blue card creator. As for now. Of course, the most important thing was to improve his capability quietly. Initially, he only had 40.8 points of energy level. During that period of time when he rampantly created 300 cards, he actually increased his energy level by 12 points, sprinting to 60 points. It was just that this energy was still too little. It could barely create the most inferior attack card. I'm still too weak. Lu Ming was aware of his own capability. Create cards. Cultivation. This was the most basic way to improve. There were two aspects to improving the capability of a card creator. The first was to improve the energy level. This was the foundation. After all, when one had greater energy, they could create more powerful cards. The other aspect was the card creating skills. It was only until he mastered the powerful card creating skills that he could create more powerful cards. Advancement in energy level required a lot of resources. It could not be rushed. 
Hence, Lu Ming was more concerned about the skills. Powerful card creating skills could make the drawing lines look more simple, structured, and tidy. It could also complete some matters that a single line could not do. For example, the intersection of the lines. When two lines intersect, how could one handle it? If one continued to draw in a straight line, the two lines would be conflicted and messy. The card creation would fail. Hence, this was a skill that had to be mastered. Besides this, there were also more sophisticated three-dot-way interlace and four-dot-way convergence, and so on. There was still a lot to learn if he wished to become a true dot blue card creator. Lu Ming had mastered zero skills. I have to study hard. Lu Ming took a deep breath. Of course, card creating skills were available for sale in the market and the Card Creators Association. There were even a complete set of case study cards. But that price. He also could not count on that rubbish vocational college of his that nobody cared about. I will make an attack card first, and examine the lines thereafter. Lu Ming decided to give it a try tomorrow. It was very late at night. There were fewer and fewer passers-by. Looking at the time, Lu Ming was preparing to close the door. Just as he walked to the door, he suddenly saw a shadow in the shade of the trees, hiding out of the scope of the surveillance camera. He was instantly alerted. Who is that? Lu Ming shouted in a low voice. Chapter 9 The Legendary Card You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 the Legendary Card Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, it's me. That man revealed a little of his face. It's you. Lu Ming recognized the man. Shan Zhu, a small punk nearby who wandered in the outskirts. In the past, he bumped into Lu Ming when the he was out and collected protection fees from Lu Ming a few times. Unexpectedly, he dared to come here. This was the city center. You're not afraid that I will call the police. Lu Ming was very calm. Don't, Shan Zhu said nervously, I am not here to collect protection fees from you. Why are you here then? Lu Ming sneered. I came here to sell something. Shan Zhu looked around sneakily at the door. After discovering that no one was paying attention to them, he quietly showed the item in his hands to Lu Ming. This is. Lu Ming's heart trembled at the first sight of it. Shan Zhu had actually brought two card fragments. The so dot called card fragment was of course a part of the card. Many cards were destroyed and ruined due to battles, experiments and various reasons and became card fragments. Although the card fragment was not complete, one could still see some faint lines on it. Hence, many card creator would examine these lines to learn and improve their standards. Of course. Most importantly, when a typical card was broken, the encryption was also cracked. Hence, one could even pick up some skills from the card. So. Card fragments were an avenue for many ordinary card creators to pick up knowledge. As for the two in his hands. Although there were only one dot tenth of and a corner of the card left, the feel of this card told them that this was certainly no ordinary card. In particular, one could make out the faint mark of NC-16 behind the card. Damn! This was the legendary small yellow card. Where did you get this thing from? Lu Ming said in a low voice. Such a pure small yellow card was rare. Actually, Lu Ming was not very interested in this area but many small yellow cards used skills, especially the encryption skill, that exceeded that of ordinary cards. This was the area that Lu Ming was interested in. Perhaps. There was something he wanted in this. Of course, I scavenged it. A few days ago, a huge battle occurred outside and many people died. Naturally, many cards were destroyed. However, I know what I can or cannot touch. I don't dare to touch those powerful and precious cards. I only picked up the broken pieces of these censored cards. Hee <laughs> hee. Even if they discovered it, they would feel embarrassed to look for them. 
Shan Zhu was very smug. He was a professional in scavenging. An ordinary person would naturally search the whole world, even at all costs, if they were to lose anything. However, a broken piece of a small yellow card. Did they not find it shameful enough? The Card Creators Association strictly prohibited these kind of things from circulating. After thinking, Lu Ming felt that that was really the truth. How much? Lu Ming said in a low voice. He knew that this lad talked so much because he wanted to raise the price. 50,000 yuan. He he. Shan Zhu was pleased. Are you mad? Lu Ming's eyes widened. It's just two fragments. But it seems that their quality is not bad, Shan Zhu explained. Impossible. Lu Ming pursed his lips. A card fragment is just a part of the card. No one knows the skills that are left from the lines behind the remaining part. There may not even be anything left of it. How much are you asking then? Shan Zhu did not expect the timid young lad in the past to become so tough now. 1000. Lu Ming pursed his lips. Shan Zhu was a little puzzled. One could not bargain in such a way, right? Slashing the price to 1000 yuan from 50,000 yuan. That was too much. Impossible. Shan Zhu was fuming with anger. If it's 1,000 yuan, I might as well sell this to those chain stores directly. Go ahead then. Lu Ming's expression dimmed. Ah. Uh. All of a sudden, Shan Zhu was speechless. He was a scavenger. Scavengers did not like to expose themselves to the regular market. They would be targeted due to these kind of things. They could only look for small shops to sell them. More importantly, these two items were fragments of small yellow card and even bigger reason why they could not sell it there. 10,000 yuan. That's the lowest. Shan Zhu gritted his teeth. You can't make me waste a trip. Lu Ming thought about it. It was just nice. He had earned some money these two days and could still afford 10,000 yuan. Moreover, his interest in the small yellow card. Ah, wrong. He was quite interested in high dot start cards. Very soon. The deal was successful with 10,000 yuan. After taking the money, Shan Zhu left excitedly. Lu Ming officially closed the shop and ended the busy day. It was just that. At this moment, he could not bring himself to fall asleep. His attention was focused on the two fragments that he had just gotten. One had to know. These were the fragments of a high dot start card. Perhaps there are some high dot end skills in them. Lu Ming was hopeful. He took out the card and carefully observed the lines behind them. One could not see anything from the original black surface of the card. But as only the fragments were left, he could faintly see the traces of the lines. Lu Ming took out a pen and paper and carefully copied those lines. However, he could not understand them completely. What is happening? Lu Ming felt a little strange. In his heart, he felt that if such sophisticated skills such as line intersection appeared, he could most likely succeed after cultivating a few more times. This was also the kind of skills that he yearned for. However, at this moment, he could not understand them completely. The difficulty level was too high. No, no, no. Lu Ming looked at it numerous times. He suddenly had a bad premonition. Could it be that the encryption of this card was coincidentally still intact? Still. It was all in this fragment. Hence, he had basically no way to break the encryption effect. Lu Ming searched online for the lines that he had copied. True enough, these were one of the most basic lines that were commonly dot used for encryption. Wait. If the encryption is intact in this fragment, then the other one definitely won't have any. Instinctively, Lu Ming examined the other fragment. However, he was speechless when he discovered that it was also encrypted. These two fragments that looked similar actually did not belong to the same card. 
the encryption was complete. Naturally, this was not something that Lu Ming, a guy at this level, could crack. With the existence of this encryption, he did not even know the quality and rating of this card fragment. I have been cheated. Lu Ming gave a deep sigh. Sure enough. He was still too pure and simple. Would Shan Zhu, that guy, look for him if he had any good stuff? He was certain. He had picked up a pile of card fragments and sold them to a particular shop in batches. After the shops checked and discovered that these two fragments could not be used, they took them out. Shan Zhu then passed by his shop so that he could become the scapegoat. I'm too inexperienced. Lu Ming figured out the ploy very quickly. Little Lu Ming was also completely ignorant about all of this. He had just come here and was inexperienced. Hence, he paid a considerable education fee. I have been too complacent these past two days. Lu Ming made himself calm down. He remembered that, when he first arrived, he was very cautious with everything that he did. Over these past few days, he had earned a lot of money from fruit ninja activities. As such, he was a little too relaxed. What if this was murder and not swindling of money? He could have possibly died. I have to be careful. Lu Ming took a deep breath. His inflated ego cooled down very quickly. Since I bought the card fragments, I can't waste them. Lu Ming thought about it. The lines behind the card fragment could not be examined anymore. However, the encryption on them was complete. In that case, it might still possess a little of the functionality of the original card. After all, the encryption was still intact. It was possible that a certain functionality was still in the card. Wasn't that so? Furthermore, under normal circumstances, small yellow cards were all illusion cards. Coincidentally, he had the facilities for illusion card here and could give it a try. All of a sudden, Lu Ming's interest was aroused. He found a blank card and cut out a piece of it from the middle, which was the size of the fragment, and carefully placed the fragment in it, piecing together a complete card. Thereafter, he carefully inserted the card into the activator. He also replenished the energy card. Activate. Whoosh. Buzz, there was a sudden burst of energy. It's successful. Lu Ming felt excited suddenly. True enough, the place with the encryption intact had retained a small part of the functionality. Whoosh. Scenes that sent his adrenaline rushing appeared. The world around him began to transform, and pairs of hands as fair as white jade seemed to be caressing his body. That feeling. The gentle whispers that could be heard from near and far made his whole body feel relaxed. In the vagueness, he thought he saw a girl with unimaginable beauty approaching him from afar. In the mist, she had an aura of a fairy that left him hungrily eyeing her with anticipation. Endless sensations lingered. It was just that. Before he could feel it, the illusion actually ended. Well, it was only a fragment. So, this is a high. End illusion. Lu Ming was amazed. Within a short duration of 30 seconds, the feelings brought to him by this illusion. He felt like he was personally experiencing it. It even made him so immersed without realizing it. He was not sure how many levels higher this was to illusions by Zhang Xiaopeng. That feeling of adrenaline rushing. The restlessness in his heart. That relaxation of his whole body. Lu Ming closed his eyes. Dot this kind of illusion. What if? It was used to kill someone. That girl gently placed her little hands on the neck. Click. World peace. Apparently, someone who could create such an illusion was a threat themselves. The powerful ones in this world were far scarier than he had imagined. He desired to be like them even more. Lu Ming's eyes were shining. Perhaps. He could also become as strong and powerful as them one day. Tisk, if Zhang Xiaopeng uses this card, it will far exceed the value of 10,000 yuan. For 30 seconds, he can use it for 10 times. 
he will receive heavenly treatment each time he uses it. It seems that there are benefits to having a kidney deficiency. Saving money. Lu Ming was filled with emotions. He looked down at the card on the illusion activator. When the illusion ended, the fragment had vanished completely, transforming into energy, after it was used. There's one more. Lu Ming took out the other remaining card fragment. Although this card did not have the NC-16 label, the color was also light yellow. From the look of it, it was the same kind of card as the earlier one. Similarly, Lu Ming embedded the fragment into the blank card and inserted it into the activator. Don't know what is inside. Lu Ming was hopeful. Although he did not pick up the skills, it was also quite good to widen his horizons. Click. He pressed the button on the activator. Buzz, a light wave of energy flashed and a gush of bright light suddenly appeared in front of him, surrounding Lu Ming's entire vision. Thereafter, it suddenly exploded and engulfed the whole shop. Oh no! A thought flashed across Lu Ming's mind. Bang! A deafening noise. Lu Ming could hear loud sounds. The world around him suddenly came crashing down. Chapter 10 The Ancient Presence You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 The Ancient Presence Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Dim Skies Collapsed World When Lu Ming awoke, he was greeted with such a scene. The entire world seemed to have become glass that was filled with cracks, looking like it was about to shatter any time. Countless incomprehensible runes were imprinted on the voids. It was bizarre and mysterious. What is this place? Lu Ming pondered. He remembered that he had activated that card fragment and caused an outburst of energy. This is an illusion. Lu Ming was jolted awake. Illusion. Right. This was actually the illusion that was activated by that card fragment. Putting aside the energy outburst caused by the activation of the card fragment, just one dot tenth of the card could actually activate the illusion. What exactly was the level of this card? Lu Ming felt a little panicky. He was expecting something. He got up. He looked around. Instantly, his eyes were fixated on the center of the illusion. In this collapsed world, that was the only complete place. A soft mat with a small creature nesting on it. A creature. Lu Ming's eyes widened suddenly. A living thing actually appeared at such a place. Never did he imagine that a living thing would appear in such a small and special world. That was a creature that was not big in size. Its black hairs was full of texture. It looked soft and smooth and with a slightly voluptuous body, which gave others feelings of indolence and elegance. It actually looked stunning and breathtaking. Wait. Breathtaking. Voluptuous. These characteristics were actually not a big deal. However, at the thought of its origins, the small yellow card, Lu Ming gasped coldly. He was feeling extreme horror. Did people nowadays have such a strong taste? This. Not even letting this go. All of a sudden, thoughts flashed in Lu Ming's mind, remembering a story about a particular senior grandmaster who had created this kind of super high dot level illusion due to a peculiar hobby that the world was not receptive to. He specially created a card to satisfy his special needs and plots that could not be made known to the outside world. The current scene spoke more than one million words. True enough, all masters have quirks. Lu Ming heaved continuous sighs. He treaded towards it. As expected, that living thing was not breathing. Dead. Lu Ming felt a little regretful. Apparently. This was a small world created by the illusion. The purpose of this small world was to nurture the existence of this creature. However, as the illusion was ruined, the world collapsed and only the card fragment was left, this creature also died. However. The illusion card is only a replicate of the illusion. This dead one is just a replicate of the creature in the illusion. 
Its original body should still be alive, Lu Ming said. Inexplicably, he actually heaved a sigh of relief. The death of such a living thing was a huge pity. The effect brought upon by the illusion was indeed extraordinary. He shook his head. Lu Ming put away all these messy thoughts. Click. Click. Faint cracking sounds could be heard. Lu Ming lifted his head and looked over in the direction of the sound. As expected, the cracks surrounding him in this illusion were beginning to spread rapidly. It went to show that the card fragment supporting this illusion could no longer hold on. It is a pity. Lu Ming sighed. The entire world collapsed with a deafening bang and the illusion before him vanished instantly. Back to reality. As expected, the card in the machine was already destroyed. It was just that, the moment he returned, Lu Ming vaguely saw a ray of black light flashing in his body. How could that be possible? Lu Ming immediately looked into his body and instantly broke out in a cold sweat. At the deeper part of the sea of consciousness, the place where the original card was stored, there was actually a black creature. Obviously, it was the one that he saw in the illusion earlier. It actually came out. It was actually alive. Damn. Lu Ming's scalp felt numb. The sea of consciousness was the most important place for a card creator. It was even the foundation for all cultivators. Almost all of the energy cores were held there. Once something went wrong with it, one would definitely die. To hell with it. This was not a small yellow card at all. Lu Ming's hands trembled slightly. He knew that he had encountered the biggest crisis in history. Whoosh! Thoughts flashed in his mind. Lu Ming used his thoughts and appeared in his sea of consciousness. This place was actually very shabby. After all, Lu Ming was only a one-dot-start card creator. He did not know how to cultivate the Sea of Consciousness. It only stored the original card. Hence, this was just a small space that was not even bigger than a typical bedroom. It was very small. But now, there was one more mysterious creature here. It seemed to be deep asleep. It had even brought that soft mat under its body with it. Hell. What kind of creature is this? Lu Ming was very nervous. As the creature had changed its position, he could see it more clearly this time. Therefore, he carefully stood there and observed this creature for a long time. Thereafter, he came to a very important conclusion. Although it looked so elegant. Although it looked so perfect. This thing. Was still. A cat. It looked a lot like a long dot haired cat with a slightly bigger body. Although the hairs on its body were full of texture and were extraordinary. Although it was more breathtaking than all the cats that Lu Ming had seen before. It was still a cat. A black cat. So, I have a cat in my body now. Lu Ming's head was aching. He really could not figure out how a creature in the illusion could move around. Especially. A replicated creature from an illusion card. Does your original body know that you are so naughty? Lu Ming approached it carefully but that creature continued to nest on the mat, sleeping soundly. It did not have any reaction and looked like a dead cat. Sleeping soundly again. Some thoughts flashed in Lu Ming's mind. Emotionally, he did not feel like interacting with this creature at all. After all, regardless of whether this was a cat, it was scary enough that it could jump out of the illusion. Basically, this was not an existence that he could provoke. However, logically, he knew that had to resolve this matter quickly. If the creature was sleeping soundly, it was most probably very weak. Hence, this was the best opportunity to resolve the problem. Otherwise, when this creature recovered, he might not even know how he died. Furthermore, Lu Ming did not want to let a time bomb remain in his body for too long. It was too dangerous. Hello. Lu Ming tried to greet it. There was pin dot drop silence in the sea of consciousness. He did not receive any response. 
could not communicate in this language. Lu Ming thought about it. Hello. Lu Ming continuously waved in front of it. Yet, it was still very quiet in the sea of consciousness. Well. Lu Ming was silent for a moment. He felt that he was acting like a moron earlier. Hence, he carefully looked at the creature, took a deep breath, and said, Meow. Shush. That mysterious creature suddenly opened its eyes. Bang. At that moment. Lu Ming felt endless pangs of horror. Seemingly, he had suddenly awakened an ancient presence. However, he recovered from his senses very quickly. This was just a deception from the mysterious creature in the illusion. Before his eyes. The mysterious creature was already awake. The most shocking thing was that its eyes were actually golden, and were filled with authority. Awake. Lu Ming's heart jumped a beat. His body flickered slightly. The original state was formed purely by thoughts. At this moment, he was emotionally unstable. Naturally, his body would appear slightly blurred. Whoosh, L.O. Lu Ming forced himself to calm down and looked at the mysterious creature before him. Oh, wrong. Black Cat. He had used various languages but to no avail. Only the meowing sound of a cat could awaken it. As such, this was certainly a cat species, right? In that case. Lu Ming looked at the black cat in a serious manner. Meow. Black cat. Dot. Meow, meow, meow. Lu Ming thought. Perhaps the tone was incorrect. Black cat. Dot. M, yow. Lu Ming repeated. The black cat swept a cold stare across Lu Ming's body. Lu Ming was very familiar with that look. He recalled. Oh, that was the look of, are you an idiot? Lu Ming. So. Meowing like a cat did not seem to work. Lu Ming thought about it seriously. He heard that high dot level creatures were every intelligent. In that case. Can you understand my words? Lu Ming asked cautiously. There seemed to be some changes to the look in the black cat's eyes. Lu Ming glanced in its direction and seemed to understand. Its arrogant eyes were now filled with contempt. All right. Lu Ming laughed bitterly. Although there were some mishaps in their first interaction, they could finally communicate now. This black cat did not make any movement. At the very least, it meant that the other party was not those creatures who were full of malice. Well. It was also possible that it just needed a place to rest. Right. Lu Ming thought of this point. This black cat's original illusion was already destroyed. Hence, it needed a place to sleep soundly. His illusion was the place for it to rest. Hence, it would certainly not destroy him. At the very least. He was safe for the time being. Next, he would test its limit then. He had to wait for it to destroy him after finishing his sleep. He had to do this when it was at its weakest state. To strike a deal. It's like this. Perhaps you needed a place to sleep soundly and rest. Hence, you picked this place. I don't have any ill intentions too. I just hope that my cultivation will not affect you. If you need anything, you can tell me. I think you may recover faster if someone helps you. Of course. If I am in any danger, I also hope that you can help me occasionally. After all. If I am dead, you will have to find a new place. Isn't that so? Lu Ming said in a serious manner. The black cat's cold and aloof eyes finally turned gentle. It could be due to Lu Ming's good attitude and he did not make any requests that were overboard. The cat actually nodded. It settled. Lu Ming was elated. Since he had struck a deal with this black cat. He felt at ease now. As for the harm and danger. He he. He was a man who had watched 700 episodes of Hokage, 1. Hokage, literally meaning. 
Fire Shadow, is a word often used in Naruto Japanese manga series. It is the highest and strongest ninja in Kanoha village. There was a powerful creature in his body that could explode prematurely at any point in time. He was not afraid of death, okay. It was formidable. The black cat yawned lazily. Obviously, he wanted Lu Ming to scram as soon as possible. It was extremely exhausted, okay. Actually, this sea of consciousness was very small. It was only as big as a small bedroom. When the black cat lay in the middle and Lu Ming stood at the side, they were in fact facing each other. The black cat had obviously forgotten how stunning it was. So, when it yawned, Lu Ming instinctively thought of the Norwegian forest cat that had he reared in his previous life. It was also a big cat with golden eyes. Its fur was also very beautiful. So alike. Lu Ming sighed. Subconsciously, he stroked the hair of the black cat with one of his hands. Black cat. Meow. A roar of anger could be heard. Bang. A horrible aura emerged again. At that very instance, the black cat rose and a gust of mysterious and ancient energy engulfed the sea of consciousness.